Gabriel's gonna start with our uh, first person here. Yeah, here. So, Sal, do you wanna start us? Hi, Ron. How's it going? Uh, appreciate your time. Um, this today was a kind of a dress rehearsal for the team. I, how do you think like the offense was uh, played out there, and what do you think you learned the most today about what you have might have to do on Saturday? Um, definitely just understanding Coastal's defense. So our scouts are running a version of Coastal's defense, and uh, that's that's the biggest thing I've gotten from these like scrimmages. And as far as the dress rehearsal, it's just uh, for the younger guys and everybody, just the whole entire team to get used to um, a game day procedure. So uh, we run through it smoothly on game days. Seems like with the guy, the the room that you have in the slot back room, we've talked about through the preseason, the talent that's in that room. Um, you've been through two. Uh, season openers. The antis can you tell us a little bit the anticipation of getting to that first game? It's a night game. It's on the road against a good team. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Um, really, it's just about getting through the week first. Um, we just got to take it uh, day by day, practice by practice, and uh, get better every day. Terrell, good to see you. Um, uh, how is it for you guys? So you had a, a good pitch run in the, early in the scrimmage, work with Tyre. Uh, how did you feel about that part of your game? Uh, it was definitely pretty much just like practice. Uh, it was just exciting to be out there with the team and um, that's, that's really it. Uh, it's just it's just exactly like practice though. And so I, I, I believe take the first kickoff in the scrimmage. Uh, how do you feel about uh, you know that role as a kick returner? Uh, I've been doing it since freshman year, so it's, it's nothing nothing new. But um, it's definitely a, a position to where you get a chance to um, set the tone for the entire game. And how do you feel about uh, how the, uh, you know, I guess really working with Tiger, you know, you've grown up together playing, uh, you know each other very well, your moves and coordination. How do you feel about that relationship with your quarterback? It's great. Um, I just he, he teaches me a lot, um, a lot of stuff that the quarterback does. And uh, we were roommates this summer as well, so, like, we, we got close. And it's just being close with him just had it. It's like a certain click on the field, so I'm excited to uh, play with him. Final question. One of the plays I saw, Connor Finucane got right in front of one of the running backs. You know, it was you know down about five yards down the field. How do you feel about uh, how you're working with your offensive line? Uh, very. I feel really good, good about them. Uh, they've been working hard this off season. Uh, they've been putting on weight and uh, working on their footwork and stuff. And Coach Davis and uh, Coach uh, Beatty have been doing a great job with that. So I'm excited to uh, really get behind them and run behind them. Thank you, Tyrell. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay. We'll jump over to Zoom now. So Charles. Uh, good afternoon, Tyrell. Charles Greaves here with GoBlackKnife.com. I just have one question for you. Uh, you're exactly one week away from the um, season opener against uh, Coastal Carolina, and the expectation for this season is pretty high. Uh, what are your expectations as it relates to this upcoming game, but also the overall season? Um, my expectation is more um, that we give it our all every game. Uh, there's no expectations as far as wins and losses. Um, it's just more of an expectation of, you know, us doing our job and uh, pretty much harping on the fundamentals every play. Um, that's the biggest thing I, I expect out of our team this year. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll go to Ken. Hi, Ty. Ken McMillan with the Time Carol Record. Ty, can you um, just sort of give us a quick look at what would you say were the highs and lows of this camp um i think the lows is more of the ending because i mean it's, you're getting into something new starting school and stuff but the highs was definitely in, in between uh getting getting to know the uh, younger guys and getting to practice with everybody getting in the groove of football so um i think that's the biggest thing the low is definitely uh when school started at the at the end tell us about how much more ready is this team to play than, say, a week ago or even after the first scrimmage? Um, I think a lot more. Uh, we've been we've been putting in a lot of special team stuff. We had a lot of install. We um we've practiced a lot on special teams. Uh, as far as offense, we we've, we've fixed up uh, any mis or most of the, all of the mistakes that we've had uh, last weekend in our scrimmage, and um, I think we're I think we're much more ready, but I think we're more ready, but I don't think we're 100% um, ready. So we have this week to uh, get ready. How much is the, uh, do you feel about the improvement? Is it in the necessarily the uh, execution of plays, 
or is it the overall confidence that you guys gain? It's a, it's a balance of both because um, you don't want to be overconfident, but it's definitely about the uh, execution of plays and confidence. Your thoughts on the 2022 season ahead? Um, just like I said uh, with Mr. Uh, Charles, uh, just making sure we uh, give our 100% every play, every game, and uh, harping on the fundamentals. And last thing, talk about the, the running game. Um, are we expecting the same as last year, or can you guys do even better? Um, there's always room for improvement, sir. Uh, but uh, I think I think we we are we've improved over on the off season, and uh, we're ready to play this year. Uh, we have Big Jacoby coming back. We have Tyson Riley, and um, we have a plethora of slot backs that can run the ball and block. So I'm excited for this season. Well, what about your own personal game? Um, it's, it's gotten better, but uh, as, a, as a team, as a slot back a room, we've all gotten better as a collective. I think I asked you this last year, but are you going to bust one this year on special? <laughs> uh, that's the, that's uh, me and Coach Deternio's plan. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hey, Tom. Tom. Hey, Terrell. Tom Shanahan. Hey, uh, going into your junior year, I imagine you're a much more physical player now than as a freshman when you were able to rely on speed so much, particularly at the high school level. Uh, just talk about your game maturation. Um, I think more the understanding of plays, understanding what other, what other positions are doing, and that, that just helps with uh, running off of a specific block or maybe uh, setting up a block with a, with a cut. So that I think I'm understanding just other people's assignments. That's, that's the biggest part of my game that's matured. Great, thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, just a thought. You're gonna you uh, a week from Saturday night is your game, but you got three days of school here, and then you'll have a send off by the core on Friday morning before you get on the plane. What is it like to just stay focused on schoolwork, but knowing you got this big opening game on Saturday night? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of I'm kind of used to it at this point, but uh, you just have to have two different kind of. I don't want to say personalities, but two different types of mindsets for both of those. Um, and you just have to be able to switch it back and forth. So um, when I'm up here, it's strictly football. When I'm down there, it's strictly homework and strictly school stuff. And just knowing how to balance that, that's that's how I prepare for the uh, season openers and all that stuff and balance all that stuff. That's great. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hey, one, one more question, Terrell. Uh, have you learned more about uh, Paul Horning since you... We're nominated for the award. I, when I asked you before, you said you didn't know much about him. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, my, my dad was telling me about him. He's the uh, most versatile or very versatile player, some, something like that. Um, I got to read I gotta read more on him myself and um, understand what it is. But it's just a preseason um, nomination. So. Right. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You're all set, Tyrell. Thank you. Thank you, Tyrell. Thank you, Dave.